Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you for being with me again today. I've been following the issue between Iran, Greece, and the uh, United States, and the uh, common denominator is oil. And uh, I uh, was talking about the incident where the Iranian tanker uh, carrying uh, Iranian oil with some Russian crew members on it, about 12 or something, was seized in the Mediterranean Sea uh, by Greece in the territorial waters or uh, something like that. And um, the Greeks uh, claimed that they did that because of the European Union sanctions imposed on Russia. And uh, there were somewhat 12 uh, crew members that were Russians and they seized the whole tanker. Nevertheless, uh, even that, that argument is uh, shaky and shady. Greeks, the Greeks, the Greek uh, uh, leadership um, decided that they should contact their boss, the United States, which was had nothing to do with all this, if you think of it. And the United States came in and said, you know what, how about we take the oil out of the tanker, we transfer it to our tanker and bring it to our uh, uh, American uh, consumer because we need it too. Um, United States claimed uh, sanctions on Iran and whatever they claim, they can claim whatever they want. You know, like I go down the street and I see you and I say you uh, wear the wrong uh, shirt or the color is, uh, doesn't match your shoes or something and I start beating you or I take in, taking the shirt from you. Uh, so I decide and I'm able to do it because I'm stronger, let's say. So the same here. And then it remains the, the, the question, how come and why did Greece call the boss and told the United States, hey, we got this one, come and get it. What was the connection? Uh, we know what the connection is. The con connection is the big, uh, big boss is uh, the big boss of the big club. And um, Greece is a bottom feeder, you know, like a carp on the bottom of a lake, eating from the bottom. So those are the bottom feeder countries, allies. <laughs> okay. So, and then the Iranians uh, challenged that uh, in court and they won, allegedly, uh, reportedly, I posted a video yesterday regarding this issue. And today I have a continuation of this where the Iranians demand that all the oil taken from their tanker should be brought back, re, uh, given back. And uh, in the meantime, Iran sees two Greek tankers in the Gulf area and they took their oil. And then the Greeks started crying and uh, because they are the ones that basically got shafted by both the United States because the uh, United States did the Iranian oil and by Iran because it took uh, its oil and two, two, two tankers. So this uh, article comes from Reuters from uh, June 9th, which is today, 2022. Iran expects confiscated oil cargo to be returned in full. Now, you think that's going to happen? <laughs> don't hold your breath on that one. I don't think the United States is going to run, going to say, hey, a tanker, go back to uh, wherever and uh, put back the oil in the Iranian tanker and let it go free. And now, Iran, please give uh, the the Greeks their tankers. Yeah, I don't think that's the way it's going to work. <laughs> okay, we'll find out. Maybe they tell us. Iran expects an oil cargo confiscated by Greece to be returned in full. The semi-official Tasnim news agency reported Tehran an ambassador to Athens as saying on Thursday, following a Greek court ruling quashing the original decision to confiscate it. So the Greeks de decided to confiscate it, and now these guys, Iranians, fought it in court, and uh, so far the information is that they won, uh, so they need the cargo back. So what are the Greeks going to do? Because the Greeks going to call the boss and tell the boss to give those guys the oil, and the boss is going to say, I can't hear you, I don't speak Greek. So, the case arose when Greece in April impounded the Iranian flagged Lana, formerly Pegas, with 19, sorry, not 12, 19. It doesn't matter. Could be five, could be 1,000 uh, crew members on the board, on board near the island of Evia due to European Union sanctions. That was the reason given. 
All right, so the Europeans put an embargo on the 19 uh, Russian crew members or on the Iranian uh, tanker, which one is it? Or the Iranian oil. No, so if, the, let's say, let's suppose that uh, they were not Iranian, they were not Russian crew members, let's say they were Chinese crew members, but they were all wearing, let's say, shoes made in uh, uh, Russia and the shirt made in Iran. Would they qualify for uh, uh, impounding the whole uh, tanker because the guys has shoes made in Iran and shirts made in Russia or vice versa? Does it matter? No, it doesn't matter. As I said, if I go on the street, I can pick up whatever reason I want uh, and I can act upon it if I'm strong enough. So the same here. And there's the law also, I don't have to follow the law, obviously. So the, they can, because of those 19, the European Union sanctions the Russian oil, but their oil was Iranian. You know, or maybe you have the crew members and they were all, let's say, French. But one of them, uh, one of these guys, his name was Ivan or Yuri or, God forbid, Vladimir. Then what? Impound the whole... <laughs> oh, my God. And they expect us to fall for it. And most of us fall because most of us have an IQ below 86. That's the problem. That's how they stay over there. This a friend of mine told me, uh, what, um, in 1920s? Wink, wink. He said, "What? Uh, it's uh, the, the politicians are lucky because the masses are stupid. So basically, <clears throat> it works each and every time. And not only stupid. Uh, nowadays is is different. They think they're educated. That's the problem. They they graduate a college here in the United States and they think I'm an educated person. I read uh, Washington, uh, New York Times, and I watch CNN. I'm an educated person." Well, they have to read some uh, books in, uh, on propaganda to find out that uh, they are the most easily influenceable people, the ones that think that know, thing, know things because they have a degree. But let's move on. I have a good book for that. It's called uh, Propaganda by Jacques Ellul. My favorite, actually. Right here. This is Propaganda Jacques Ellul. And I... Uh, I would like each and every one of you to buy this book. Uh, I don't get any money from uh, Mr. Elul, just so you know. It's just that it's a fantastic book. I underline in books. This is all underlined by me. It's a fantastic book. Anything over there is like, not gold, diamond, I don't know, platinum, whatever you want to call it, air. All right, the ship was released due to complications over the, its ownership. The United States in May confiscated part of the Iranian oil cargo on board, transferring it to another ship following the initial Greek court ruling. The Greek court's decision to overturn that ruling has not yet been made public. Following intensive follow-up, the Greek Court of Appeals will overturn the initial court ruling on the confiscation of Iranian oil and by God's grace, the entire oil shipment will be returned, Ambassador Ahman Naderi said on the embassy's Twitter account. The confiscated of the cargo prompted an angry response from Iran with, uh, with Iran forces last month seizing two Greek tankers in the Gulf after Tehran warned it will take punitive actions against Athens. And Athens could not do nothing. Nothing. That's how it goes. You got big muscles, psh, pong, that's it. The issue will remain on the agenda of intensive consultation between the two countries until the full implementation of the ruling is Certain, Naderi added. Um, well, this is, uh, and it says here, ask if he, if the latest judicial decision could open the way for the release of the two Greek tankers on their and their crews, Greek uh, government spokesman, sp spokesperson, Genis Oikonomou, said Greek justice was independent. And I'm quoting, first of all, since the first moment, we have not connected the two incidents. You did not, but the Iranians did. <laughs> we did not, that's fine. The Iranians did. Oh my, the Iranians' forces' behavior over the tankers was totally unjustified and unprovoked. Can you believe these guys talking like that? Do you think it was unprovoked and, un and unjustified? Uh, I mean, on, on what world you gotta be thinking like this or not thinking? Uh, not thinking like this. Unprovoked. Uh, secondly, justice in our country, just 
justice in our country has proven that it operates independently. We'll find out when the Americans uh, say, say what? And they slap you. They're going to rule it the other way around. They're going to just say, you know what? We don't talk to you, bottom feeders. Go and uh, go in your little lake on the bottom and feed with next to one another. And, uh, you know, leave us alone. We do whatever we want, basically. That's what's going to happen. Nevertheless, thank you very much for being with me again today. They will not get the oil, just so we start from the very beginning. The Americans will be like, what, what oil? <laughs> stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just. Man, this world.